good morning my dear students so in this class i am going to solve uh, again the problems on balancing of rotating masses okay so far we solved around uh, four to five problems okay this continuation of uh, that only okay so same procedure you follow uh, so okay so just you read the question carefully you if you want to construct this balancing problem if you want to construct any force polygon and couple polygon diagram you need to have what the four values you required okay so that is mass radius angle length okay if you get these three four means you can going to get construct very easily okay so i will read out the question here uh, a shaft carries a four masses in parallel uh, planes that is a b c and d you know in this order along its length okay the masses at b and c are 80 kg uh, 18 uh, kg and 12.5 kg respectively and each has an uh, eccentricity of 60 mm okay uh, the mass at a and d have the, an eccentricity of uh, 80 mm the angle between the masses at b and c is 100 degree and that between the mass b and a is 190 degree okay so they given particular one shaft upon which they maintain the mounted they fix the masses a b c d their length is given okay both being measured in the same direction uh, the axial distance between the plane A and B is 100 mm and the between B and C is 200 okay if the shaft is incomplete that is a incomplete dynamic balance determine the magnitude of the masses A and D we don't know so that we need to calculate the distance between the plane A and D is also we don't know that you also need to calculate and the angular position of the mass at D okay so the question is given like this uh, so okay the four masses is given and that is a b c d so we don't know the mass a and d we have to calculate okay so also you have to calculate the x uh, distance that is the length okay so along with that radius of rotation is given 80 mm uh, rb is equal to 60 rc is equal to 60 rd is equal to a, a that is 80 mm okay theta a is given 190 degree theta b we don't know that is 0 degree so that is you are going to uh, initial that is uh, theta c is uh, 100 degree and theta d is equal to what okay so let us before solving any problem of balancing of rotating masses i told you number of times let us assume a reference plane okay so if you once if you measure the reference plane left hand side you are going to measure the length is negative and right hand side you are going to take the positive value okay so here the given a to b is 100 b to c is 200 a to d is x is 100 okay so we need to calculate the mass of a and mass of d length uh, of a to d at d mass is fixed uh, we don't know the length you need to calculate okay so that is about the position of the planes and figure b angular position of the masses so here the mass is given b to c is angle is given that is 100 degree and uh, c to d that is a b to a is given what 190 degree uh, okay so mass of d we don't know that you need to calculate but radius of rotation is given 80 degree okay so this is about the angular position of the masses so these two diagram you need to sketch the rough sketch only okay based to read the question based on the question you need to sketch right a rough sketch okay i told uh, so once you uh, note down doing the rough sketch of the block the block diagram you have the third step is uh, to form a what tabular column okay that is a plane angle mass radius centrifugal force distance from the reference plane and couple okay so plane is given a b c d uh, let us assume b as a reference plane okay so here i mentioned here the wrong is there some okay so angle is uh, it is a that is assume uh, the plane a is a reference plane from the diagram okay angle is 190 degree 0 degree 100 degree and theta d okay mass is uh, mass of a we don't know that you need to calculate mass of b is given 18 12.5 uh, md we don't know okay radius is that is in mm you convert into uh, this what uh, uh, meter so 0 0.08 0 0.06 you are going to get this okay centrifugal force is equal to mass into radius okay formula is there centrifugal force is equal to mass into radius so here mass is ma into 0 0.08 you are going to get 0 0.08 ma so 18 into 0 0.06 you are going to get 1.08 like that you need to calculate the centrifugal forces again the distance from the reference plane that is uh, the we assume uh, reference plane as a so their length is that is initially is 0 again a to b is 0.1 and b to c is 0.3 uh, a to d we don't know that they given in the x we need to find out okay couple polygon is equal to last column is equal to m into r into l so if you uh, multiply anything zero means you are going to get first one is zero again uh, second b 18 into 0 0.06 into 1 point that is into 0.1 you are going to get 0 0.108 that is formula is there in the top that is m into r into l uh, use that formula you are going to get this okay once you form this tabular column you construct the couple polygon diagram and force polygon diagram okay so with the help of the last that is couple polygon m into r into l use those values those column values you are going to get what uh, couple polygon diagram so here i shown here uh, so uh, take the graph sheet okay so keep uh, mark any one point uh, 0 to b uh, 0 to 
that is o to b dash okay o dash b dash okay length is 0 0.108 again b dash to c dash the angle is given uh, how much angle is uh, that is uh, uh, 190 degree okay so here they given uh, length of 1.08 that is 0 0.225 length is uh, length that the angle is 100 degree given so 100 you uh, keep the protractor at point b uh, mark the uh, uh, angle 100 degree with a length of 0 0.225 okay cut one arc even uh, okay so if you uh, not possible to construct the angle 0 0.025 0 0.105 you can convert the scale also okay one unit is equal to uh, like that you convert two unit three unit is equal to 0 0.225 like that you need to convert and construct this diagram okay c2 o dash you don't know just to join that okay that length is equal to 0 0.08 mdx okay from that you, you can going to get what mass of x okay so this is about uh, that 0 0.08 mdx is equal to vector of c2 o dash so that is you are going to get 0 0.235 okay so again if you measure the theta means you are going to get the theta d is equal to 251 okay so like that uh, the second one is a uh, centrifugal force okay that is a centrifugal force again 0 to uh, a uh, 0 to a is what uh, 1.08 that is 0 to otherwise take the parallel line uh, parallel line of this okay take the parallel line this uh, the length of 0 to b so 0 to b say take the uh, that set square and keep then move you are going to get 0 to b with a length of 1.08 okay again b dash b to c is 0 0.75 same same procedure you follow so 0 0.75 so where is 0 0.75 here is the centrifugal force with a length of centrifugal force is equal to 0 0.75 angle is given uh, b to here what is the angle so here angle is b to c b to c angle is 100 degrees given so mark uh, 100 degree okay at point b mark 100 degree with a length of 0 0.75 you like that c to d mark uh, keep protector at point c uh, okay uh, take the uh, not don't keep here protector so uh, c to d so take this uh, uh, c to d c to d take the parallel and here uh, c to d is there c to uh, d so keep protector uh, and uh, c to d otherwise you keep here keep protector c to d angle is uh, theta d we don't know uh, but uh, 0 0.08 is there okay that distance you need to find out so at point c to d uh, you mark it again from point d to o okay d to o we don't know that 0 0.08 again keep the uh, set square so mark here uh, d to o so d to o uh, just uh, with a length of this d to o set square set square and move that uh, and draw here line okay so you are going to get you are going to get close that one d o to o similarly c to d also so, uh, take the c to d that length and uh, keep uh, draw parallel to the that line okay so you are going to close this that is 0 to b b to c c to d and d to o uh, so uh, if it is uh, by reading it is not possible to understand better you have to practice okay you take the scale pencil graph sheet geometry box you construct wherever you are getting uh, doubt for this constructing the force polygon you can call me and i will tell you about okay this okay once we for uh, once if you solve this uh, you can get you can calculate the easy okay so mass of d and mass of a mass of d uh, is mass of d is equal to what length of that particular length okay so that i shown here 0 0.08 mass of a is equal to the length of cd uh, you are going to get uh, the mass of a is equal to 9.62 uh, kg again uh, the length this uh, second one is 0 0.08 md is equal to vector of do you are going to get what uh, 0 0.65 so this is equal to md okay 8.125 so how to calculate the distance between the plane a and d so that equate that is 0 0.08 mdx is equal to 0 0.35 so md we know suggest so to substitute you are going to x is equal to 361.5 okay at this length you are going to fix the mass t in the given question that is in the given system and the mass of a and mass of d is what 9.6 kg 8.125 kg okay so like this you want to solve the problems okay here the very important is uh, couple constructing the couple polygon and force polygon diagram only okay so next the last problem is so same problem so here i will reload the question a rotating uh, shaft uh, carries a uh, four masses uh, a b c and d which are radially attached to it the mass center uh, are 30 40 35 and 38 respectively from the axis of the rotation the mass a c d are uh, 7.5 kg 5 kg and 4 kg respectively okay the axial distance between the plane of a uh, rotation is a and b is 400 and between b and c is 500 okay the mass a and c are at right angle to each other 
find the complete balance one okay so here the following need to calculate the angle between the mass b and 2 you need to calculate from the mass a and the axial distance between the plane of the rotation c and d and the magnitude of mass b okay so here the based on the given question only we are going to draw the rough sketch that is the position of plane here a b c d four masses are mounted in a given particular shaft so let us assume b is a reference plane so from that left hand side uh, length you measure as negative right hand side length is measured as uh, positive okay so a to b is given 400 and b to c is given 500 and b to d is given x uh, we don't know the x value okay so that you need to find out the same procedure what you followed in the previous problem okay so uh, once you uh, forming the tableau column you need to construct this table that is plane angle mass radius centrifugal force distance from reference plane couple okay so a b c d four masses are given let us uh, we are going to assume b is a reference plane along with that angle is also given zero degree theta b 90 degree theta d okay so mass is 7.5 mass of b 5 4 okay radius is just you same procedure you follow you are going to get uh, that is given mm you are going to divide by thousand you are going to get 0 0.03 uh, 0 0.04 and 0 0.035 0 0.038 okay centrifugal force is equal to m into r that is 7.5 into 0 0.03 you are going to get 0 0.225 okay so like that you are going to calculate and distance from the reference plane so 0 to a that is you are going to assuming the length left hand side direction so minus 0 0.4 again uh, 0 to b is 0 0.5 and a to d is we don't know that uh, we need to calculate that is x okay uh, last one is a couple polygon couple polygon formula is equal to what m into r into l okay so that is 7.5 into 0 0.03 into minus 0 0.4 you are going to get minus 0 0.09 okay so this uh, 0 if you multiply anything means you are going to get the 0 i like that you need to cal calculate the couple polygon okay so once you forming this tabular column you go to construct this what couple polygon diagram and force polygon diagram okay same procedure you follow here so first let us as we take the last column values couple polygon 0 to a uh, 0 0.09 okay so this 0 0.09 from the scale it is not possible let us consider uh, assume the uh, unit uh, scale unit okay so one centimeter or two centimeter is equal to one unit like that if you measure if you assume that you need to uh, form this you need to draw this graph okay so 0 to a you are going to take the right hand direction negative value so 0 0.09 minus okay and a to b so within uh, 90 degree length is 0 0.087 for you but we don't know the uh, b to o uh, length we don't know just you put you close that with an help of dotted line okay so once if you form the couple polygon diagram go for the force polygon diagram okay so again 0 to a uh, we, that is initial point uh, okay 0 0.22 for you from the values of this uh, centrifugal force okay so here 0 to a is a 2.22 for you okay take the horizontal line 0 to a again measure the b at point b to a with an angle of 90 degree cut an arc with a length of 1 point 175 okay again from point b to c the length is given that is angle is also given 0 0.152 and the length is that is 0 0.152 angle is given b to c so b to c is that is uh, theta d that theta d we calculated in the previous case that 12 angle okay that you need to measure and cut one arc okay so theta d so here otherwise if you not given theta d angle means just you draw the parallel into a space diagram uh, okay space diagram line you construct uh, space diagram and move the parallel into there uh, at point uh, b to c okay so once you form that c to d c to o we don't know just to join that circle okay c to o if you close that one means 0 0.04 mb okay so once you are constructing this force polygon diagram and couple polygon diagram so you that what uh, c o is equal to 0 0.04 uh, mb okay so that you need to calculate here i shown procedure also here okay first of all draw the couple polygon from the data given table number uh, column number six also shown the some suitable scale the vector below represent the balanced couple since the balanced couple is proportional to 0 0.152 x therefore by measuring the given same okay so how to measure this b to c means uh, space diagram program move uh, set square and uh, draw this line okay so b to c okay uh, so now how to calculate this uh, same problem uh, same procedure 0 0.152 x is equal to the length of uh, that is bo we are going to get the x is equal to 0 0.85 for you okay so the axial distance between the plane uh, rotation of c and d that is you just to subtract that that is that is in meter you convert into mm so 85 for you minus 500 you are going to get 35 for you okay so similarly angle is equal to 316 degrees so here i don't know b to c angle is 316 degrees if you measure you are going to get this b to c point okay so theta d is equal to 360 degree minus 44 you are going to get 316 okay like that the mass of b so is equal to 0 0.04 mb vector uh, co is equal to 0 0.34 mb is equal to 8.5 kg so theta d is equal to 180 degree plus 12 degree if you i calculated from the graph you are going to get 192 degree okay so this is about the mass of b okay and similarly mass of a also calculate here mass of a is equal to 
so mass of b and uh, this uh, mass of the length that is x x is equal to what you are going to calculate the x is equal to 350 that is x is equal to 0 0.885 that is 855 mm and mass of b is equal to 815 so exact uh, weight the measure mass of 815 kg and fix at point d with a length of 0 0.885 mm that is a uh, 0 0.855 meter okay otherwise 855 meter if you go and fix this here means the given system is complete balanced one okay so i hope uh, you are going to understand this i told number of times uh, unless you are not practicing uh, by hands uh, if you by hands okay so then only you are going to understand better than uh, this uh, okay so wherever you are getting doubt to construct the force polygon diagram and couple polygon diagram so that i can tell you uh, so that you are going to understand better okay and uh, also this is very important problem they may ask you direct question in the examination around 12 to 14 mark question from the this module 2 okay so be careful uh, so just you remember the procedure on rotating the balancing of uh, masses problem so here you are going to get the four different types of problems okay case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 normally they may ask you uh, different uh, types of masses rotated in a different plane like this okay so last what we saw if you perfect this what i i explained uh, the last uh, 6 to 8 problems you, you can solve uh, any type of problem in balancing of rotating muscles okay so i hope uh, you understand this type of problems so i hope you understand balancing of rotating muscles problem okay so if you have any doubt means you can call me at any time okay so next class we move on to the second topic that is reciprocating of balancing masses okay so that is uh, balancing of uh, reciprocating masses that is a uh, to and fro motion problems okay so i hope you understand this type of problem uh, thank you very much